Hey everyone, this is Aquini and I'm here today to provide you with a quick tutorial on fishing in closed beta test number three for once human. Uh, with CBT3, the fishing mechanic has changed just a little bit and let's jump right into it. First things first, you are going to need a fishing rod and some bait. You are gonna get these from your supplies workbench and you can see right here, you get it on craft on supplies workbench, fishing rod and dope fish bait, craft on supplies workbench. Uh, these are your basics. There's no durability on the fishing rod, so you only need to make one. Uh, craft them both. You're going to need a bit of bait because uh, you're going to need one every time you cast the line. So get both of those, bring them with you, go to your nearest water source like I just did. And then put the fishing rod in your hot bar and pull that out. You're going to left click and it's going to extend the rod. You press R to equip the bait. You're going to select the bait. One improvement between CBT2 and CBT3 is that you're only going to have to do this once. It is going to automatically keep selecting the same bait unless you need to change it uh, each time you cast your line. So you're not going to have to do this every single time like you did last beta. Um, and then on the right hand side of my screen, I want to uh, point out that there are two bars. You see the top one says struggle free and um, take the bait. And then the bottom bar says collapse or flaccid. So the top bar is the most important bar. It is the progress indicator for how close you are to catching the fish. Uh, the bottom bar is representative of the tension on the fishing line. Both bars are good when they're full. So it's a good thing to see both these bars fill to your right. And I'm gonna try to show you how to do that. So we've baited our line and now we are gonna cast it. You left click, you see the disc is where we're gonna drop the line and we release to cast the line. You see the little bobber icon in the middle. This is gonna light up and tell me I have five seconds when a fish starts biting. And then once the fish bites, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on those two progress bars to the right that I mentioned. So the key to keeping these bars to the right, I'm gonna left click here to get the fish is to pull the, the line in the opposite direction that your fish is going. So this fish is going to the left, we're gonna tug the line to the right and try not to put too much tension on the rod. Um, so here we are, we just pulled in a tilapia and I will try to cast another, uh, get another fish here so that we can do it again. Basically, you're swaying the line left to right, trying to tire the fish out as you bring it in. You're gonna hold down the left click button. You don't need to tap it or anything like that. And again, you're just gonna hold it in the opposite direction of where the, the fish is tugging the line. And here we caught the carp. So that's all there is to fishing. Uh One cool thing is there is the eel deviant, if you're not aware, you can catch that by fishing. It's a little string of batteries. Um, I can show you what that looks like quickly in the collections menu after I uh, draw in the fish here. Oh, um, it, it, if this isn't actually him, <laughs> what are the odds? Okay, so it's actually the electric eel deviant right there that we caught. As you can see, it's a little string of batteries. Um, perfect timing. So you can collect him, uh, this is RNG based. As you can see, I just used basic bait. And um, uh, you saw, I just showed up here. I cast my line three times, happened to get the electric eel. So he's not a super difficult deviant to catch, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and collect him. Down and dirty. I also uh, just wanted to mention that here where I am currently, I'm at the docks in Iron River. It's between Greywater Camp and East Blackfell Junction on the map. And if you talk to this lady, you're gonna see that she has two formulas for sale. They both cost 200 energy link, uh, which is a currency that you're gonna earn very easily in game, but just by doing irregular tasks. Um, one of them is for something called prebate, and then one of them is for something called mince bait. So the prebate is quite simply a lure. You dump it in the water, it tracks fish. Uh, mince bait is another type of bait. So again, we start with dough fish bait. We can learn this formula for mince bait, and by buying these formulas, we can craft these both in our supplies workbench, the lure and the mince bait. Um, the bait right here with the little blue fish, I'm not sure if we ever get a formula for that. That's something that remains to be seen as far as my gameplay goes. I haven't seen it yet. 
Um, but here you can see that all three of these bait cost 50 energy link. One thing I don't know, and if you have the answers for me, please feel free to drop them in the comments below, is what the difference is between the bait and what significance it has for fishing because they're the same cost. Um, the descriptions aren't really discerning in any manner. Like they all talk about predators. This one talks about leftover human food. This one also talks about predators. So they don't necessarily indicate what type of fish they best attract. And then if you go to the description of the fish in your inventory, the fish don't necessarily have a description of what fish, uh, excuse me, what bait they prefer either. Uh, so two improvements would be to have a little bit more information about what the difference between the bait is and, you know, how that impacts the fishing and what kind of fish we might see. But that's the information that I have on fishing today, and I hope it was helpful. If it was, please drop a like and maybe a sub to the channel. If you have anything to add to fishing, please, we're all learning together. Drop your information in the comments, and uh, let's help each other out. And thanks so much for watching the video.